Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of the F1 career mode with Mick Schumacher. Very excited for this episode, it is in Bahrain. Uh, it's a track I'm quite slow at but I do enjoy uh, the race around here. You can see we're on 102 AI, 102 AI and 25% race distance. We're in the uh, hub at the moment. Going through the emails, our chassis upgrade uh, was success successful, which is good. You can see the weather for the weekend is going to be dry. Uh, typical for a desert um, but as we uh, come on to the first practice session we're just doing the track acclimatization um, so far I've gone for a different uh, racing style on here because I, I watched a video the other day of I, think, I believe it's driver 61 I think that's his YouTube channel uh, you should check him out um, he was talking about how Max Verstappen is fast and he's on about um, he takes a much squarer line into the corner because I usually take um, like the line of like uh, well your typical line you go as far wide as possible on an entry hit the apex you go out wide where most of the time that's not the fastest um, line through uh, a corner it's usually if you go a bit wider and get a better exit at the later apex um, you usually get quite faster then so I've learned, uh, I've learned from that episode is nearly upon us and the drivers look as if they're all geared up to go I expect we'll be getting underway very shortly I was looking at some highlights of previous races here and the one thing that really stood out to me was the run down to turn one it's not an easy one to navigate as everyone is scrapping to get into their first we've seen in the past how tricky the first corner is it's not an issue in practice and qualifying, but if you throw a lot of highly competitive drivers at it all at once, you've got an entirely different situation. The smarter drivers will be able to temper their approach and stay out of trouble, but it doesn't mean it's easy. So as we come on to qualifying now, um, practice, uh, we did okay. We've got a bit of pace in the car. It is a very tricky track around here. The AI are quite fast. But I do enjoy the track. As we come down into turn one, it is tricky breaking down to here. We do a big lock up, but we do manage to get the car turned in. We do get a bit uh, wide there, a bit of a tank slapper. So it does. we have lost a bit of time. I've already said a few tents gone into the first few corners. But as we're coming down here, we're going for the square line, as we said. Going for the bit better ex uh, uh, apex better exit as we come into, into this part uh, of the track very technical now here this is where the square line uh, makes more sense as you go you go much wider on a hairpin as it's a slow corner and then you cut back on yourself uh, so it's much more like a V instead of a U but uh, as we said first lap time I, I wouldn't say it was a, b a good lap but um, on the time is we are in uh, P16 at the moment so it hasn't been a, a bad lap, a bad lap in terms of the others. We are ahead of our teammate, but we will go out for another lap because uh, we can get into Q2 if we're setting a good lap. As Lance Stroll is in front of us, and we could probably set a faster lap time there than him. But I do, uh, I don't ra rate him, underrate him that much. I do believe he is a better driver than people think, but um, he does make like uh, quite a few mistakes and. Uh, Seen that he's from like a rich family, but his way, you know, don't uh, look good for him. But as you can see, um, we do f manage to get P15 and we do get into Q2. So, our second uh, qualifying session, we're getting to Q2 with the Alfa Romeo, so it's been a good job uh, for this weekend so far. Maybe we can set a first, faster lap in Q2 because I don't believe that other lap was that fast because we only gained time in the last corner, really. As we're coming through the uh, middle sector on our second lap in Q2 now. We go a bit wide through there. I don't, I don't, I don't think this lap was that good either, but we do um, get a few corners there. As we do the switchback line there, and we get a bit rear happy there. And we've gone round into the barrier, and that is our lap done. The front wing's broken. Um, qualifying session's over. Leave the checkered flags out. So, yeah, a mistake by us, but I had to uh, ashamed of that. Because I don't believe we would have got that far up in Q2. Stage of as the players take their places for the opening act, 
Will they enthrall us like they did in 2014 with that titanic battle between Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton? Well, we'll find out shortly as we get underway here in Bahrain. We go racing today around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit with 15 corners and two good passing opportunities into turns one and four. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left tire into the tricky braking zone of turn 10. Anthony Davidson, a very warm welcome to you as you join me in the commentary box for today's event. Now, can I get your take on Kevin Magnussen? As ever, the threat of unreliability is never far away, and indeed they'll be starting out of position today due to a power unit component change. So it's going to be a difficult task to move forward from there. Everyone has to deal with penalties or reliability issues from time to time throughout their career. You just have to suck up the pain and get on with the job at hand. Today isn't about performing a miracle to put the car back where it should be. It's about effective damage limitation. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Vettel, Max Verstappen and Albon, Sainz, Perez, Norris and Daniel Ricciardo, Gasly, Hulkenberg, Daniel Kvyat, Mitchell, Stroll, Giovinazzi, Roman Grosjean and George Russell, Magnussen and Robert Kavica takes the last spot on the grid and with lights out just moments away okay, as we start the race for the Bahrain Grand Prix we line up in P15 um, I just want to talk about the uh, uploads of the videos at the moment um, I just said I was going to try bring one out once a week well once every uh, well Monday to Friday five days a week but um we're getting a new internet, so I'm only able to be uh, get two videos out a week, probably Saturday and Sunday, for the moment. I believe uh, I believe we're getting it next week on Thursday. So um, I think for F1 2020, we'll be able to uh, upload probably every day, Monday to Friday. Might do Saturdays as well. So we should uh, get quite a few videos out there. Uh, we're doing my team, I think for the most part. I might do career mode alongside that just to change it up each and every day but as we come on to the five red lights for the Bahrain Grand Prix the five red lights and away we go been a okay st start so far we always get a bad start with this traction control thing I'm not used to it yet but as we come down into turn one you have gained a position there on the Tour Rosso we're now gaining position on the other Tour Rosso of Gasly there he's still on that inside can get a better exit there here yeah we do and we've made two positions on the start so far so good no, it's a guy we made contact with in the last race, Daniel Ricciardo in the Renault here. Trying to find a way past him. And uh, gain another position on our first lap. Um, been so far so good. We're just looking through the uh, menu here. Point up to Rich Mix. Managing the ERS as well because we don't want to use all of it. And then on the uh, start finish straight, uh, have it run out just before the finish line lose a bit of time but as we can see we're coming down into this tricky corner here Daniel Ricciardo does lock up there and uh, we can maybe get a better exit out of here on him we a bit too far to back to make a lunge yeah I believe we are and we go very wide there into the into that corner but as we come down later on in the lap down this main straight Gazi sends it down the inside of us there so we are showing we've got a lot of pace in the car so far we are on the back of him, we have got slip chain down all the way down this straight here. We flick to the left. Now we've got Daniel Kvyat as well in the other tour also coming down. It's free wide going down into turn one. They both out break me as we can see on the right, both of them have overtaken me, so it's been a terrible move. Tra tra overtake on Gasly, it's gone down to uh, both of them overtaking at us. But as you can see we also got I don't know who, who that is behind us there. It's the house of uh, Magnussen, I believe, trying to get past us here. So going through this part of the track, Max Verstappen has retired from the Grand Prix and his safety car is out. So that has kind of saved our guts there. Safety car is out for the first time in this career mode. So, so far, not bad, not good. Um, we do make the bold step of coming in this lap on the hard tyres. I didn't know if to come in because I thought it was a bit too uh, early. But... Uh, the hard tyres are a bit, um, have, have more longevity, I kind of worked out that it would last about around about 9-10 laps because the uh, medium la lasts about 7. 
So if you had two more laps, that it works out pretty much. Um, but yeah, um, as the safety car will probably end on lap five as well, so there'll be about la nine laps to the end of the Grand Prix. You can see it is ending on lap four actually, so the start of lap five. So yeah, we're about right um, with the tyres. Hopefully, we can have a bit more pace in the car throughout this Grand Prix as we get caught sleeping there. As you can see, we press the wrong button there, and our ERS and rich mix uh, fuel mixture is all the way down to the bottom as you can see Magnuson passes us straight away so it's been a terrible start from us left sleeping here as we try to make a move on him down into turn one we get pushed onto the uh, apex there and we just lost uh, another position on the start and uh, losing a bit more time but as we skip to lap 8 I believe it is now we are getting uh, a bit closer to Magnuson now see a few cars have decided to pit in now so our strategy is kind of working now we're trying to need to play the long game here as you can see our teammate goes into the pits we're getting ever so close to Magnussen down into here we'll flick it to the outside here you can see all the cars have gone into the pit so we are into P4 here but Magnussen is still on that inside there we're pushing to the apex so on, uh, uneven his car on that big uh, curb there you can see he'll probably have DRS on us up here and he does he sends it to the inside here he's got so much more speed than us we try out braking, can we maybe hang it round the outside into this corner here? No, he just has the overspeed on us and does edges out. Maybe we can go around the outside on this corner. No, we're all over his gearbox can now. Now we get a good exit on this corner. Can we maybe look for a switchback move on the hairpin? We do go for it. We do get a bit of a tank slap, but we do make them move on him there. But he's still on that inside here. See, so we've gone into this tricky corner here. We does make contact with us and pushes us wide there. So a dirty move from Magnus and there's probably can guess it is from Magnus in here uh, as he does these type of moves uh, in real life as you can see we've gone ball with him there he takes a lot inside curb then goes to the side of us and pushes out wide don't know if that was intentional or what but that was a bit of a dirty move there could have backed out and see one to lap 10 now we are getting a bit closer to Magnus and now we've got a bit of pace in the car but as you can see probably see on the mini map Vettel is getting ever so close to us now uh, so we have to make this move as soon as possible. Now we're on the back of him here on the back straight. We maybe look for a move here, pushing him off the racing line here, so we can get a good apex. We got the DRS on him, so we should get an easy move down the straight. But we do have Vettel coming up behind us here as we flick to the inside there. We've got Vettel also coming. I believe he's coming on our inside. It is free wide once again and going into turn one. Vettel manages to get past here. Just park on the apex there. We do hit his, the back of his car now. Magnus is on the side of us here. We do push him out wide, but he will have DRS on us as well. He's coming up our inside for the second time. It is up here. Can we hang it around the outside this time? Wheel to wheel. He does manage to edge us out, but we are a bit closer. Can we get the outside still, though? Go for the outside here. He's still on our outside. Going down into hairpin. He's still there. The outbreaks as we try to go for the switch back and we get a massive tank slapper. Now Bottas and the clerk is on the back of us here, so it's about just concentrating here and just making sure we take the points home and not get frustrated behind Magnuson. But as we come into the other straight here with DRS, just trying to compose ourselves here. As we come on to lap 12, going through the first corner, we are getting ever so close to Magnuson here. We'll get a bit of a tank slapper there. But we do have DRS on him, so maybe we can make a bit of time up going through here. But the clerk goes for the move on us there. He's got so much more speed in that uh, Ferrari powered car and low drag Ferrari. He does make the move on us there. We don't put much of a fight because um, it's part of the racing program with Ferrari. We don't want to uh, make some un unhappy faces there at Mar Marinello. See, we do a massive lock up there. We almost go into the back of him, but we're just trying to hope. The clerk does get past Magnus as we skip later on in the lap. We do get overtaken by Bottas here. No, uh, the clerk just get pa past Magnus and we just try to um, get the slipstream on Bottas as Albans coming as well. So we just need to concentrate here. We're trying to get on the DRS on the back of Bottas down into here. Just try to take these po points home um, and not let um, as many cars pass as possible. You can see Bottas is getting right on the back of Magnus in here. Is he going to make a move on him? Run into this corner. No, he's just a bit too far back. And we're just trying to hang on the back of um, 
but I see him wait for him to overtake Magnussen and slow both of them down. And then we can maybe make a move on uh, Magnussen here as we're on the promoting at lap. As we can see, Bottas does make the move on Magnussen. He does go very wide now. It puts us on the back of Magnussen. Going through the part of this track, we maybe look for a move on the inside. We'll go for the inside move here. We hit the apex head, but Magnussen is still on that outside. Now he's at the back of us. We do make the move on him now. He will have the slipstream going on into this part of the track. You can see he's getting ever so close with Albon behind us as well. Can we maybe get the DRS because um, I don't believe Bottas was a one second in front of us. As we can see, we do get the DRS, so that will help us a lot. We're just going to try to put the uh, ERS in their fuel as high as possible. Going down the straight, we just need to hold it here. Come down into turn one, it is yellow flag, so they won't be able to overtake us anywhere. But as we're going through the first few corners, it is okay. Now as we skip to the last part of the track, we do manage to hold it on for P7. So in our second race, we do manage to get points, our first points ever in Formula 1 for Alfa Romeo so a very good job by us we cross the line there we do get P7 so I thought this career moment might be terrible what happened for the uh, in the first race but we have managed to uh, bring the points home uh, in the second race here yeah, for Alfa Romeo which is very good uh, let's put our name out there a bit more as you can see Hamilton does win the second race and what a podium that is because of the safety car it is Perez and Lando Norris on the podium. So two two British people on the podium. So something we haven't seen in a long time since uh, Lewis Hamilton and Jensen Button. But a very good uh, podium there. As we go into the results now, do get P7. Magnussen finishes behind us with Albon, and then Science finishing up, finishes up the points. And as we look to the standings, we are P11 in the standings, so so far so good. And as we go on the constructors, Alpha Mate has P7 there, so very good job. In front of Toro Rosso, and uh, was that McLaren as well? No, it couldn't have been a McLaren, it must have been Haas. Um, oh, another team, I don't know which team it was actually, but as we come into the uh, interviews now, um, asking as we have gained a lot of positions in the rest. Yeah, we did, I believe. We started P15, so we would have uh, gained what eight laps, uh, eight laps, uh, eight positions in the race. So a very good race from us. But the uh, strategy did help uh, in the race, so it was a good uh, move to make. Going onto the hard tyres uh, when the safety car happened, but as you can see, uh, our agent was very happy with us. As we're going through the emails, we got a bit, of, bit of resource points. As we're going to the R&D tree, uh, we're looking through. I do believe we go for the chassis one. Don't need to go for the uh, engine one. Um, once we've got the Ferrari engine, we don't need uh, more horsepower from that. But as we can see, uh, I think yeah, we do go for the uh, chassis one. We're just making our decision if we go for the uh, department efficiency or what. But we do notice we've got a bit more points. We go for a bit of uh, reliability, reliability as well um, for the car. So that should do as well for China as we uh, finish off that weekend it's been a good weekend for us here um, it is China for the next race so I'm looking forward to that one I'll try to get that as soon as possible but I do thank you very much for watching this episode and I'll see you in the next one